Hey, what's happening, guys? I'm back working on my uh, Hail to Pit uh, wearable blinky light thing I'm making for Blake to give to his friends up at Pit. I bought some of those um, SMD self flashing LMDs, but I'm having a lot of trouble with the footprints. And he wants something before football season's over, so we're just going to do a quick SMD version for him. So let's talk about what we got going on here. Okay, so let's start off right here. We've got a, a CR2032 battery. And you'll notice with these LEDs over here, there's no resistors. Well, the CR2232 battery doesn't put out that much current, and you can kind of fudge this circuit. It's not the preferred way to do it, but it works. So anyway, we've got nine LEDs in parallel. And then up here, we just have a switch to turn it on and off. The battery and the switch will go on the back side. LEDs will go on the front side. And let's pop over here and we can take a look. There's our layout. You can see everything's in parallel. And there is our 3D view of the front side and the back side. I have included a small hole here if you know you want to put a pin or something but like I, said, I, re I recommend you do it like Big Clyde suggested put your battery in here you get a strong neodymium magnet put on the inside of your clothes and boom you're good to go all right we've taken our uh, drawing and we're going to make it into a PCB all we have to do is upload our Gerber files and there it is. We're going with PCB Way, of course. They are a major sponsor of this channel and do excellent work. So it's super simple. You upload your Gerbils. Sometimes this doesn't show up. Doesn't mean anything. Don't worry about it. Board type, single pieces, panel, panel by PCB Way. You know, different board and panel. Don't worry about any of that. We're just going to do five, two layer board. Uh, we want the boards to be blue, white tick mark that's it except we're not in Germany VINC United States of America so there we go 2789 I get it ordered and we'll have those boards back in just a few days all right so we're gonna get the boards out and get going and you know see what we can do I've got all the parts I need here there's a 2032 holder this is going to prove to be a bad decision, but I'm going to put that on first. And all of you looking at the holes for the LEDs there going, yeah, that's stupid. Yeah, it was. But while I was doing that, I didn't see that. You know what I mean? I was just looking for, okay, I'll put everything on, the two things on the back first, and then all the LEDs on the front, and that should take care of it. You know, make things uh, a good order of operations. Well, it turns out that's not just great. Because once we put that battery cover on the back, there's really no way to solder those things cleanly. It's, it's just not going to work. So You'll see that here. I'm going to figure that out in about one, two, three, you know, maybe a few more seconds here. Yeah, Because this is going to be clothing. I'm trimming off everything. I want it to be all nice and smooth. Don't want anybody to, uh, you know, hurt themselves. Sorry, we got interrupted by uh, my son. It's Thursday as I'm making this, and generally we pick him up on Fridays after five when he's finished with his Chem One class. But apparently, Chem One is canceled for tomorrow, and he is going to uh, make the executive decision to study on his own for physics. And his stepdad's going to pick him up, so he'll be home tomorrow. Okay, so now now I'm desoldering this thing, and that went easy enough. I have to clean those out. I'll do that off camera. You need to watch me do that. I got a little. All right, we got everything prepared now, and we can put these in. I wanted to use um, the blue slow flash. They're at 1.5 hertz, but I don't have any left in stock, and I don't want to wait a week for some new ones to come in. So these are going to be multicolored. They're not exactly what Blake wanted, but, you know. Of course, again, you know, 
for those of you who don't know, uh, official colors of the University of Pittsburgh are blue and yellow. Can't get yellow silkscreen yet, so uh, we've got the blue board and uh, white silkscreen. So now we're going to get these soldered in, and I'm just going to do one leg of each one. And once those three are soldered in, I can flip the board over and have a look at it and make sure that they're all sitting properly. Then I can go back and solder in the bottoms. So to the, uh, what, six of you who are patrons and came to the uh, Patreon conversation last uh, Sunday, I had told the guys that there was a train derailment um, right here in the town down by the river and uh, as I went down the highway this morning heading towards uh, Steubenville south down um, Ohio Route 7 Jefferson County Ohio if you want to look that up it was a Norfolk and Southern train that derailed the remains of it are still there they, they had you know pushed the cars off the track so that they could run more trains and holy cow the destruction is just amazing. I would have never expected that. These cars are just crumpled like, like they've been dropped off of a cliff. Wow. I mean, it just blew my mind, the amount of destruction down there. And again, these are garbage trains that come from the New York, New Jersey area that go to a place called the Apex Landfill that is in uh, northwestern Jefferson County here where I live. Not, nowhere near me, thank goodness. And uh, I talked to one of the firefighters that was down there cleaning things up, and he said the stink was just unbelievable. And he said he felt bad now for the first time, not that he felt bad for the first time, but for the first time he truly understood the plight of those people who live out there near that landfill. But, oh, my goodness, the destruction from that train derailment was unbelievable. All right, I figure I'd save you a little bit of trouble, and I'd just go ahead and solder those in. See, I use that little little video trick I've seen people use where you bring the thing up to the camera and then pull it away, and something has happened magically. All right, now we can put on the uh, CR2032 uh, battery holder. That's the old one I took off, and if you remember, I clipped those legs on it. So it's going to take my brain about a minute to realize... I probably need to get a new one with longer legs, but then, you know, I ain't all that bright. So you got to give me a minute sometimes to figure out exactly what is going on. So what I'm doing here is I'm just trimming these down. Like I've talked about it in the past that these, these solder joints should look like a little mountain or like a little Hershey's kiss with the leg coming out being the, the little piece of paper. Hopefully not as twisted. But what I'm doing here is I'm cutting off the point of that mountain or that that Hershey's kiss so it sits flat. And now I'm thinking, huh, yeah, I'm going to get a new one. One moment. All right, there's a new one, and you can actually see the leg sticking up here. I thought I'd give you a little different angle on the soldering. Touch the joint, we touch the leg, we bring in the solder, we remove the solder, we remove the iron. That is the order. Now... Are we clever enough to be able to solder that last leg that is like just completely buried in there? I think we can do it. Yep, there's a good look at it for you. I'm using a narrow conical tip on that soldering station, and that is the um, Sumsauer 8586 soldering station that old Uncle Rob sent me. I think we're going to need the uh, PCB holder stand for this, so. Let's grab that out of the uh, spaghetti of wires that exist here on the lab bench. And we'll put this in here. This is one of the best things I've ever gotten for putting together circuit boards. It adjusts to just about anything. You can put it like this or you can rotate it 90 degrees so that the, uh, the circuit board is perpendicular to those black things. There's just so many ways to use this. So I just want to get a position where I have a good view down in there between those LEDs 
and then kind of lock it in place so it doesn't move when I press on it with the soldering iron. That's important because I'm going to have to be real careful. So I'm bracing my pinky, a little dab of solder on there for thermal transfer, and very carefully reach in there, try not to burn anything, and get in and out as quickly as I possibly can. I think I did it. So we are definitely going to find out. One last thing to do, we need to put the switch on. So we'll put it back in this thing. My brain is trying to push on the wrong side. It's like, it won't work. No dummy, it won't work. Push on the other side. You know, the one with the spring. That'll make it work. There you go. No, my right hand is not dirty. That is a patch of pigment right there on that knuckle. I don't know why it's like that, but it is. These are the wonderful things that happen to you kids as you get older. So now we use a little bit of blue tack, just kind of squish right in there, and that'll hold that switch in place. I want to make sure I get it aligned properly. Like you know, I said, these are uh, Blake's going to give these out to some of his friends for the football game. So we want them to look good, like we actually know what we're doing, right? All right, looks good. And we'll solder the other ones up, and everything should be copacetic. At least that's my hope. Of course, you never know. We can do this all like we just did here, and, you know, the first time we put the electrons to it, nothing happens, or the smoke comes out, or who knows. That's just the way it goes. All right, well, I guess it's the moment of truth. I got some fine, high-quality Harbor Freight 2032s here. Pretty sure they go in this way. Hold on, I could be wrong. Yeah, that's probably wrong. I don't deal with these enough to remember exactly which way they go in, so I guess they go that way. All right, now we'll see what's up. Hey, hey. Uh-oh. Why do we have two dead ones? Those should be getting out of sync here pretty soon. <laughs> there we go. Now we're just starting to get out of sync. There she is, guys. I know it's hard to see on the camera, but they are changing colors. Does it help if I bring them closer? No. I don't really think anything helps this. But yeah, they're starting to get out of uh, out of sync. And if you let this run for half an hour or so, they'll get out of sync really good and have a nice look about them. So that's it. I'm going to make some more of these and... Uh, Blake can give them to his friends, and they can wear them to uh, the pit football games. I did put a hole in there in case anybody, you know, wants to put a pin on there, but I would recommend if you wear something like this, you do it like uh, Big Clive suggests, and you just get yourself a nice, powerful neodymium magnet, put the magnet on the inside of your clothes, and this will stick right to it. You don't have to worry about putting holes in anything. Switch works good. All is well. So I would like to thank PCB Way for sponsoring this video as they sponsor many of my videos. PCB Way is a fantastic place to get your PCB work done. You've seen the work they do here. Top notch. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give me a thumbs up. 
Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to PCB Way. Big thanks to you. That's it. I'm out. Peace.